Good morning and happy Friday. Thank you for joining us for another segment of Mornings in Corning. I am joined by Max London, who is a senior here at Elmira College and an art major. Max, thank you so much for being here today. Of course, thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. So just kind of tell me about yourself and how long you've been doing art for. Okay. Well, I'm Max London. I've been doing art pretty much my entire life, as far back as I can remember. But I only started really taking it seriously until in, when I was in high school. And ever since then, I've just, I couldn't stop doing it. Did you have like an art teacher or someone that kind of inspired you to start taking it more seriously? Yeah, I think mostly my friends and family, specifically. I, I was really into storytelling and um, just drawing people, and I was drawing family portraits and for other families too, so I think my community really helped me get interested. In okay, and so what kind of is your inspiration when you want to paint or draw something new? I think it always goes back to people and the act of storytelling. I always want to write some sort of story, even if it isn't really um, obvious to the viewer. I think I kind of want them to have that seed where they can take whatever they want from it. Okay, awesome. And so um, back in high school, when like when did you say you really started? Um, was it like freshman year, or when did you really start taking it seriously? I think, yeah, around freshman year, really. I was into drawing, but then um, I think I started painting. But it wasn't really until college where I really started experimenting with different mediums and got really comfortable with myself and my style. Okay, so did you know coming to a college that you wanted to be an art major? Yeah, I was undecided at first, but quickly as soon as I met all the art professors, I was like, this is what I need to do. This is what I should be doing. Okay, awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing more about that. Um, thank you again so much for being here, and stick with us. Mornings and Corning, we'll be right back. Good morning and happy Friday. Thank you for joining us for another segment of Mornings and Corning. I am again joined by Max, who is an art major and a senior here at Elmira College. Max, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And so I understand that you're involved with some community art projects and stuff as well, so tell me a little bit about that. Well, first of all, I'm president of Art Club here at Elmira College, and we really use that to try and go back in the community and, you know, establish a good relationship with them. That usually includes murals, and we're also connected with um, community arts of Elmira, and, um, you know, we establish a good relationship to them so we can constantly go out into the community and, you know, paint murals or work for book fests. And, yeah. Okay. Um, are there any murals around that you have been a part of? So we're working with Community Arts of Elmira, and they have an excellent uh, infinite canvas program where we can go out in the community and make um, a bunch of murals, um, you know, really liven up the city. And we also just had a, um, a show opening at City Hall where it's all selected student works, and we also just uh, work with BookFest um, to work okay. with kids and how does it feel to see your artwork out in the community? Well, it's a completely different experience. I mean, I'm usually talking to my professors and students, but to hear members of my community talk about it and people that I didn't think I would have something in common with, it, it really it feels like we're connecting in a different way. Awesome, I love that. And you said you're the president of the art club. Um, how long have you been a part of the art club? And kind of as president, what do you do? Yeah, well, I've been a part of Art Club since freshman year here. It really made me feel welcomed and established in this community. Um, but I became president two years ago alongside Kristen Tall. And um, it's great. Again, we still we try and go back in the community as much as possible. But then, you know, at the end of our art week, we like to bring students together and just make art and do our own thing. Awesome. OK, and so do you have any plans after graduation? Well, I'm moving back down to Georgia. And being in New York my whole life, so hopefully I can just find my roots and go back into that community and do something great. Awesome, I love that. Okay, well, Max, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And that's it for Mornings and Corning. Stick with us, more news and weather coming up after the break. Welcome back to another segment of Mornings and Corning. I am again joined by Max, who is an art major here at Elmira College. Max, again, thank you so much for being course, here. Thank you. Um, so let's talk about your time now at Elmira College. You're a senior, but let's go back to freshman year whenever you know you decided that you wanted to be an art major. Um, what kind of classes were you taking, and you know what has really led you up to the point where you are today? Of course. Well, 
I remember my first class ever here was painting with Aaron Kather, and I knew as soon as I joined, I was like, this is what I want to do. And painting was, I was never familiar with it, so um, just starting that process, starting something completely new, it felt like starting from scratch. And I think I really developed a style and really learned, and all the art professors were great helping me. It's a pretty small school, so you get some one-on-one -on -one time with professors, which is really great. And so what other types of classes have you taken um, throughout your years here? Well, I've taken photography with Jan Kather and ceramics with Chris Longwell and sculpture with Derek Chalfon and um, art history classes with all of them and just being able to use every medium and being able to experiment is really great. And so obviously you were here when COVID happened and everything. Mm -hmm. Would you say that was a time for you to create um, a lot of pieces or what was the pandemic like for you in terms of art? Yeah, it was so strange. I was like, I d I, we had to go home and I didn't have access to the studio and I was always there. So I was so anxious that I couldn't make anything at all. But um, they were really great. They sent us home with supplies and I found that it was a really great time to have that time, you know, out of classes. and. I got to make a lot of interesting work from that. Okay, and um, you know, so you have some artwork on display as well. I mean, did you ever think that your artwork would be on display in college? Not at all. I was really worried that, um, you know, there would be this sea of competition, but it was super great. Um, I got a ton of opportunities to display my work and I'm very excited that I have those opportunities. And how supportive would you say the, t the professors are and like even just classmates are here? incredibly supportive. There's a super strong community here. We are always getting together to talk about our works and you know there's always um, they're always willing to help and meet with you and talk about your work. It's great. Okay. Great. Well I can't wait to talk more about the artwork that is behind us. Um, thank you again so much for being here and thank stick you. with us. Mornings and Corning we'll be back. Good morning and happy Friday. Welcome back to another segment of Mornings and Corning. I am joined by Max London, who is a senior here at Amaya College and an art major. Max, thank you so much for being here. Um, so, you know, kind of what room are we in right now? And just talk, talk to me a little bit about that. Okay. Right now we're in the George Waters Gallery in um, Elmira College in the CC. And right now we're having the Term 3 student show. So around me is my works and a couple of other seniors. Okay, and what is the, the student show? What is it, and um, was there a class you had to take to get your artwork here, how does that work? Mm -hmm. So basically, the Term 3 student show is um, mostly seniors in this um, gallery alone. Uh, we have a couple of underclassmen in Tift over there, and essentially it's a culmination of all our works over these past four years, and you know our last show here. Okay, and so these pieces behind us a little bit, just kind of talk to me about them. Um, what was the inspiration for them and just tell me what they are. Well, these are a couple works um, that I did in my four years here, kind of culminated together to create a sort of story. Um, I wanted that active storytelling and I wanted a, um, a color scheme that I really enjoyed. And then there are some larger charcoal drawings um, that I added as well. And so what would you say is the favorite or the fan favorite Well, I think artwork? the fan favorite is the cowboy girl over there. I think um, as soon as you walk in the doors, that's the one you see, and that's usually the one that people <laughs> tend to gravitate towards. And what was the inspiration for that one? It goes back to that act of storytelling. I made a smaller one a couple of years ago, and I knew I wanted this storybook ca character, this romanticized figure that I really could feel connected to. And I think a lot of people do. Okay, awesome. And you know, to see your artwork on display in here, just what, how does that feel? It feels great. It was a little bit scary at first, um, just because, you know, this is the last show here, I wanted to make it good, but I'm very proud about how, how it turned out and how all the students, you know, how it looks. And so, um, you know, the one in the cowboy boots, or just any of these, how long does it take you kind of to create? something like this? It's usually a mix. I mean, some of these took maybe a couple hours and ranging from, you know, five hours to like 30 hours. It's really a mix yeah. for depending on the piece. Okay, awesome. Well, um, thank you so much again for course, being here. Thank you. And that's it for Mornings and Corning. Stick with us, more news and weather coming up after the break.